Hello everyone, Meatspeed here with another Renegade Line video. Today I'm going to be talking about the concept sniper rifle that was shown today. The SMG crosshair entries that made it to the voting stage about a week ago, as well as the machine gun crosshair entries that were also shown today. Once again, you know, I'm doing a video covering multiple updates since I think one video for the SMG or the machine gun crosshairs would fail to give me enough content for a long video basically um plus you know i did like how the previous video turned out so the sniper rifle which was shown today was made by neilio c who actually went on to become rv omnipresence um i think it's a unique design i think it looks like it could be good for a halloween themed update or release since it's a broomstick obviously um I think maybe it would be entertaining for it to have special effects for an unranked mode or something similar to that. Uh, nothing competitive. Like being able to jump high or maybe even fly with it equipped since that would make sense given what it is. Um, I know the weapon might seem a bit odd to some people and it might not even make much sense um, in terms of what you're actually supposed to grip in order to shoot with it. But I personally, you know, I like crazy and unique designs and I've definitely never seen something like this in another game before. So it's definitely unique. Um, I mean, even if you don't like it, you, you know, that's one thing I guess you can't argue against because I've, you know, unless you have seen something like this in another game, but I definitely haven't. And I think it's definitely unique. Now, I said Neilio C made this design. Well, he actually made a weapon concept thread in the suggestions section on the forums back in December with images of other concepts that he made, such as, pi uh, I think it was a pistol covered in meat, uh, a banana pistol, and also what looked to be like a grenade launcher type thing with a, an ornament on it or a horse design on it. And those concepts in that thread have since been removed um, and the thread was actually requested to be closed. So I'm thinking maybe Raw Vengeance contacted him to recruit him and also to use his concepts, but to remove them from the thread, maybe in the hopes people would forget about them and not have spoilers for future weapons and future designs, maybe. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because I think this concept was also a part of that thread originally, because, you know, well... <laughs> Before Omnipresence joined Raw Vengeance, um, that's what I mean, but I could be wrong since I personally didn't really check the thread that often. Um, I do remember a few things about the other concepts though, such as the meat pistol, it was called something like Come At Meat Bro, which is obviously meant to be, you know, a less serious and comical type thing, I guess, and... There was also, um, according to the replies in the thread, because obviously those weren't changed, a backstory to the design so this might apply to this weapon as well there might be a story behind it who knows um, and the description of this news update also asked us what we you know think the name for the weapons gonna be and also the faction it'll be used for but I can't really say to be honest um, I mean all I know is that if we're going off of what the name for the other concept weapon is this one might be quirky or comical in some way as well that that's the only Thing I can really get with that. So, yeah, there's not much else for me to say apart from the fact that this is apparently now in a finished concept stage. I mean, I've been showing throughout this video so far the um, the GIF that they showed. I've just been slowing it down so you can see the process. Um, but yeah, like I said, I do like the finished version, but I think it would have been better to allow us to maybe switch between the bipod look and the finish look, since I do like them both. And... There wasn't really an explanation as to why the bipod was removed for the final version. Um, I think it would be interesting to maybe, um, I don't know, later on when this actually becomes more, you know, official in the game and everything. Maybe there could be like a, a design diaries type thing where um, maybe Omnipresence or someone else from Raw Vengeance can go over why they changed certain things and why they did certain things. I think that'd be interesting. It's sort of similar to um, Kane's Community Corner from Battleford Heroes, where, you know, a developer would talk about certain things. Um, I think that's good interaction with the community. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I look forward to seeing a screenshot or, or even a video of the weapon when it's been properly, you know, modelled, um, you know, for 3D and actually put into the game. Um, it would be interesting to see that fairly soon, but obviously, you know, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Um, 
onto the SMG crosshairs now, and it might seem, you know, perhaps a bit pointless to um, to talk about them since the poll actually finished today. But I still wanted to say a few things that I thought of when the poll was first released. So first of all, I thought it was strange that only six entries were chosen when seven were picked for the pistol and seven were picked for the current machine gun entries. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why that happened, but it just felt a bit weird why um, one more person couldn't be picked for whatever reason. But yeah, so in terms of the SMGs, I think they all have, you know, decent defining points to make aiming a bit harder. Though some are definitely clearer than others in terms of this, and I do think, um, while it was the most popular one in the poll, I think number three, for example, you know, is perhaps a, a little bit too thick and definitely the easiest one to aim with, at least to me. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of the machine gun crosshairs, almost all of them are similar, to be honest with you, with the exception of 2, 4, and 5, since, you know, they don't have a clear circle in the middle. Um, personally, though, I do think 5 is just right for a machine gun, since it's not it's not too spread out, like 4, but it's also not as tight as the rest. Um, now, I wanted to also talk about, um, in terms of the contest and the, these crosshairs, Maybe there's a chance that these entries, obviously we've been told they'll be in the real game, the winners, but maybe these will be still, you know, a choice whether you can, you know, customize your own and make your own, or if, you know, I mean, maybe we'll be restricted to these winning crosshairs for a certain mode, uh, maybe more casual, but for competitive, we might be able to be more creative and customize our crosshairs, uh, you know, for a more competitive vibe, because I think that would make more sense. But um, yeah, I was just thinking about that um, when I was seeing like the reactions to uh, some of the more popular entries in terms of how, you know, that they seem very easy to aim with and it doesn't seem that like they don't seem that appropriate for the competitive style of the game. But yeah, that's just an idea I had. I'm not sure if they're going to go with that or anything, but yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, I know I took a while to uh, to upload something, but I personally prefer doing a longer, you know, roundup type video of multiple updates. Unless, of course, there's an update which is quite large in itself or one that presents, you know, a lot of discussion and ideas. So there's not really a need to hold off and wait for multiple ones to get a decent video length. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.